In medical news, researchers created a revolutionary implant that could restore injured spinal cords. The so-called Edura is composed of material that makes it ultra-flexible. Paralyzed patients now have hope of recovery following successful experiments. Dr. Human Ozmi is director of the Division of Movement Disorder at Hackensack UMC, as well as a member of the New Jersey Brain and Spine Center, and he joins us on the phone. Dr. Ozmi, welcome to Arise America. Thank you so much for, for speaking with us. Thank you for having me. This sounds very, very exciting. Before I gauge your level of excitement for what this could mean to those who have spinal cord injuries, first of all, explain how the E-Dura works. Well, this is uh, important to note that this is uh, done in rats. This is currently an animal study, but it's, what's exciting about it is it's one of the first devices that uh, seem to be able to be implanted on the surface of the, of the uh, nervous system, either the brain or the spinal cord. It is uh, flexible and it has the ability to, um, to uh, assess the activity of the, of the tissue as well as uh, change the activity of the tissue. So that's what's uh, very exciting about it. Very exciting indeed. And as I understand it, this is different than uh, previous implants because uh, it perhaps does not create future injury to the spinal cord. Can you kind of tease that out and unpack that for us? Uh, yes. So, so um, the... the um, the brain and the spinal cord are, are soft tissues, and anything that's implanted on them, if it's firm or hard, can cause problems uh, over the long term, either, either injury or pressure or uh, an inflammatory reaction. But it seems these authors were able to uh, implant this uh, in, in the rats, and for a period of time uh, the, after the, the rats were assessed, there was not any injury created on, on the spinal cord. So it, it is... Uh, 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 definitely a, a different uh, a material that, that currently we have available uh, for use. What kind of injuries, doctor, and or diseases might this type of implant really be applicable for? Well, what's exciting uh, right now, uh, this comes right on, on the heels of another study uh, that uh, looked at epidural spinal cord stimulation. That's stimulating uh, the spinal cord, not directly on the spinal cord, but through the covering of the spinal cord. This was done um, in, uh, in a study out of uh, University of uh, Kentucky as well as UCLA uh, that showed uh, patients that have had a spinal cord injury for a, a long period of time to to three years were able to regain some of their movements and some of them are even able to stand. Uh, so so it, it's very exciting that it allows us to, uh, the opportunity to perhaps uh, be able to treat uh, patients that have had severe spinal cord injury either as a, as a result of trauma or as a result of, a result of other neurodegenerative disorders such as ALS for example. Uh, as you so carefully uh, explained at the beginning of our conversation, this has been done in rats so far. When can you expect human trials? Uh, so usually, uh, um, what, what it takes a, a few years uh, before the regulating agencies, such as the FDA or the European regulating agencies, allow use in the general population. I, I would, I'm sure they are looking at, at human studies right now, but until it's really available for for uh, the general population, mm -hmm. it may take a few years, but still, it's uh, quite exciting uh, in what it offers, uh, um, both this and uh, the studies that have come before this, in what right. it offers patients that have had uh, spinal cord injury. It is so exciting indeed. Dr. Human owes me. Thank you so much. Sure. And this is Arise America.